Uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and uh, welcome to this video on Blur. Um, had to cover it. It's been very bullish today. Personally, I, I bought some at like 42, 41 cents. It, it already looked quite bullish this morning, but not bullish enough uh, to make a video on that. And right now, that's that's different, right? Uh, Blur has moved up way more and uh, Blur in general, I mean, it has been quite bullish. Uh, in the last couple of weeks slash months as, uh, already as well. Oh, I am um, playing around with the setup. Uh, but all right, so very bullish. Wanted to give you my thoughts on that. Um, an analysis, what to look out for. Uh, there's quite a lot going on fundamental, fu fundamentally around Blur as well. All right, so for example, one of the one of the co-founders or the founder of Blur uh, is also one of the founders slash co-founders of Bang, which is a new layer two scam blockchain. Um, but I don't want to dive too, 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 too deep into that. I just wanted to focus on the technicals in this video. And that is also enough. I mean, I think um, like Blur historically uh, tends to respect the uh, technical levels. All right. And right now, the yeah, I mean, the move, the move itself seems pretty healthy, pretty sustainable. All right. So that means that it could also rally up way higher. But that is what we'll talk about. Uh, you can see that it closed here at $50. So I will assume that it closed below this key level. Um, but with that, it did break above the local top right here at 45 cents. All right. So we did get a bullish breakout with this last candle. And in general, the open interest is amazing. The open interest over the last 24 hours have, has kept increasing. Uh, if this keeps increasing, price will continue going up. All right. But the big question now for, for Blur itself uh, is, will it hold the main support level? All right. Because that is the main thing to look at to know whether Blur will rally up higher. All right, because right now Blur has found resistance. It seems to be respecting that resistance. It also spiked up towards the next uh, resistance level, which is around 55 cents. So now the big question is, is will Blur be able to hold the support level between 47 and a half and ultimately 44 cents? That's the next support level. I think Blur will drop down there. If it's able to find support there, all right, so if, it, if, if it's able to find support there and break above, break above 50 cents again, uh, but that's pretty, like, if, if it holds that support, it will probably break above 50 cents as well. All right, then it will continue up to the next price target at 55, 57 cents. Uh, but ultimately, I think the, the main price target is 63 cents. And um, so, yeah, that's my main price target if Blur is able to hold support and break above 50 cents. But in general, hold support. All right, so that is the main question right now. And, and that is something we'll see. I mean, uh, to be frank, Blur has a lot of momentum right now. And I would say it's most likely it will hold that support level and break above 50 cents. All right, so I think that's most likely. But um, but I mean, it's, it's always better to wait for, for a com confirmation for that, right? Because it's also uh, possible, it's a possible scenario uh, that Blur drops down to 47 and 44 cents and that it finds some support but that the support is not strong enough to, to cause a bullish breakout. And then the moment 44 cents breaks, uh, Blur will drop back down towards 40 and 38 cents, and then uh, the bullish momentum is gone, right? So um, it's pretty fragile at, at this point, I would still say. There's, there's potential that this will actually be a sustained rally and uh, that it will have sustained bullish momentum, but that is not that is not yet confirmed now. Even though Blur has been very bullish, in my eyes, it's not confirmed. So those are my thoughts. That's my full analysis. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Uh, in the pinned comment and the uh, description, you will also find more info on my premium and signal group. Uh, but that's up to you to check out. There's a lot of value in there, but that's, that's for you. Um, for now, I want to thank you all for watching and listening. Uh, take care and bye.